This is Chris. This is Chelsea. And this is Ale and Ada episode 13. <laughs> this is our floss tube where we talk about what we're stitching and what we're drinking. So, hi guys. Hello. Uh, hope you guys have had a good first week of the year. So, when we last recorded, it was, we were just shy of the new year. So, this is our first episode of the year. Mm -hmm. Fun. Um, all right. You want to go straight into what we're drinking? What are we drinking? All right. So, I went and found, uh, there's this like tiny, it's kind of legendary. Uh, on the south side of Indianapolis, there's a liquor store called Party Pack. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but that's what everybody calls it. And they have, they claim, and I, I don't know, they claim that if you can buy the, a beer in Indiana, you can buy it there. And they have a lot. They have a lot of stuff. And so I just went and shopped, and they'll let you do, they'll let you break open almost any package. Yeah, like, they're let really you do, good about singles. Yeah, they'll let you make a make a six pack out of like you just take a can off of a six pack and just take it out or yeah. or a bottle or whatever. Um, and so I went around. And I just got like some things that look good. This today's beer sampling is brought to you by Goodwood Brewery. Their little catchphrase at the bottom of the can is "Touched by wood, brewed with limestone water." That's my can. I'm drinking their, we're both drinking Goodwood. Yeah. Because I saw two different ones and they had one that she would like and they had one that I would like. I looked them up a little bit because I was not familiar. I have notes. Forgive me. I'm bringing them forward so I can read them and not knocking stuff over. Uh, so they're called Goodwood because they use reclaimed casks and wood flavorings in all their beers. They do uh, beers and spirits. And I, I didn't, I couldn't find real quick how long they've been brewing. Uh, it's not immediately on the can that I can see. I don't see an Ested. But they have brewers that have been working since 2001 in some capacity. So they've mm -hmm. been brewing for some time. They are out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, that was another reason I picked it up because we really enjoy Louisville. Yeah. Uh, we enjoy Kentucky in general. It's a very, very fun place to go and see some cool stuff. My family's there. Yeah. Um, I want to go to the Derby sometime. That's where bourbon's from. And so this is Goodwood Brewing. Yeah, so mine is a hemp goza ale. Um, it Why says it's a goza ale made with coriander, lemon peel, and hemp seed. It is a 5.2 alcohol by volume, so it's a really um, standard weight beer. What's it aged in, or what's its what's its it doesn't say that. It goes to ale made with coriander, lemon peel, and hemp seed. Yeah, it just says made with malt, hops, water, yeast, hemp seed, coriander, and lemon peel. I don't know. I don't know. I thought they used all like wood the and stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm drinking their bourbon barrel ale. Ale aged in bourbon barrels. In bourbon barrel. 6.1%. Uh, I looked on their website and saw their stuff and it suggested drinking it in a tulip glass and we have them. Mine's we'll go a goza, there. so I'm just doing a standard pint, but I've never had a beer that said it contains hemp in any form or fashion. This says it's hemp seed. So let's see. Would you like to comment first? It's not very sour. Um, and I thought I would taste more like herb because it has hemp seed and coriander, but it's not very herby. It hemp, no, it, it's kind of, I can taste, it's it's sour. But it, I mean. It's kind of lemony. Yeah, but it's not like, I've had Goza before where it like, it's so tart, you know, like it gets you right here and stuff. And this one's not like this. It's really pleasant. I like this. It's this like, is good? Yes. Very bourbon, very caramel, very, yeah, Ooh. it just, it just tastes like. Does it say on their website what bourbon barrels they use? Like from no, where, or, I did, I didn't or do, do they make either. bourbon there? Cause they distill. I doubt they, I don't know. I didn't read, I didn't read much. I just skimmed it. 
Mm. It's um, it's sweet, and mm. yeah, it's yeah, honey. I'm getting honey. Yeah, this is really good. I just really enjoy this. I'm sorry, I don't have any other words. It tastes like it tastes like a very. It does taste like a standard bourbon barrel aged beer. But it is not alcohol forward like some no, of them are. No. Oh, yeah, no, some taste like still. Like, yeah, some are like, wow, yep, this is bourbon. No, that one, not but so this much. Is it's because more beer. This than is bourbon. only 6%. A lot of yeah. them, a lot of those bourbon or, like or those barrel aged ones are really high. Yeah, they're like 10 or 11. This is only, it's not even 7, it's 6.1. Yeah, that pumpkin. That's kind of that nice. Had, um, was 13. It's kind of nice that this is aged, but not gonna destroy you right like you could have one of those um you could have two yeah totally and go about your day and not feel tired um this one it's it i would say it's tart it's smooth it's bright mm. yeah so i don't know where they distribute obviously they're in kentucky they're and, obviously, Indiana, and you least. can get them in indiana i would yeah, guess but... that they're probably at least in the cincinnati area if they're all the way up here mm -hmm. but if you have since he's got everything anyway if you well right they've got jungle dunes yeah if you can find this try it i'll i would definitely be down for trying touched, more of their stuff touched by wood brewed brewed oh, yeah. from water all right so that's what we're drinking yep i'm gonna segue into missing if you didn't, if you missed, if you didn't watch our Christmas stuff, you're gonna get a, a hit of Christmas stuff because I forgot something and I and I wanted to say something about it because it was really awesome. I did forget that my mom got me um, a series of peanut butters and almond butter and almond butter by this Saratoga peanut butter company. This is the gingerbread one. I've literally opened. I haven't opened the almond butters, <laughs> but I'm sure they're fine. But I've opened all the peanut butters. I have a gingerbread. I have a chocolate chunk with cherries. I have like a just a chocolate extra chunky peanut butter one. There's a honey maple. There's like a trail mix one that's got cherries and almond, the almond butter, cherries and something or cranberries. And then there's another one. They're really good and I forgot to mention them. I knew I was forgetting something. Also, we have two glasses now. So we did get to um, see for a little bit some friends of ours um, that work in the restaurant industry. Heather um, and Leal. Heather and Leal um, here in, in Indianapolis mm -hmm. area. And they uh, actually, Heather, I've known Heather for a long, long time. And she used to work at Black Market, which is what we talked about. We talked about Black Market a while. Um, I think we did about how we used to do beer brunch. A couple times at least yeah. we've talked about Black Market. Well, we used to do the beer brunch and mm -hmm. we, Heather and Leo, we would do the beer brunch with, we would go to them and Black Market has since closed. Well, for Christmas, they got us the tulip glasses. These are from Black Market. Like they had, I think she said someone was still working there that they were friends with that purchased some of their seller and purchased some of their I think they were trying stuff. to empty out their yeah. cellar because to empty out the location since yeah. it closed. So she bought a bunch of stuff from their cellar mm -hmm. and Heather and Leo got a hold of it for us and, and gifted it to us. So we have these Duvel. I'm pretty sure we drank out of these at Beer Brunch, the Duvel. Probably. Yeah. We went to, what, three, three we Beer three. Brunches. Yeah. Um, um, we definitely had some of these. I'm just going to flash them real quick. We'll probably drink them later, but... Um, I want to save these for holidays. Alpha Claws. If nobody's had this, this is pretty good. Indiana made. Indiana. It's um, three, three Floyds. Um, if, this will be really quick. Um, I'm not familiar with this one. North Coast Grand Cru. And I think most of these are ageable. This is a ale brewed with agave and aged in bourbon barrels. North, North Coast Brewing Company, Fort Bragg, California. Fort mm. Bragg. Okay. All right. Um... This one's called Scaldi's Noel. She gave us like two of these, I think. Yeah, there's two of these. They're, it's a Belgian ale, which is really great because I've said before, I'm, I'm getting into these the older I get. Um, it's a it's a doozy too. What it's year a 12%. It? I'm sorry. It says, I'll quit turning it around and show the label at, one, at some point. 
says they've been producing beer at this place since 1769. Most Belgians. Belgian family brewer. I don't know what year this one is. Maybe Just we'll it. do some research. It's a fun little out. label, little town, yeah. little blue, little snow. And then we got four of these, and I only brought one down. J.W. Lee's. I actually saw these at Party Pack. They had several varieties. But Heather gave us, they, Heather they gave us four gave different us four ones. Four different years. And these are all aged ales, but they're aged in different ones. This one's aged ale matured in a, I'll butcher it, Lagavulin. She'll kill me. Lag, Laga, Lagavulin? Lagavulin. Whiskey casks. Y'all want to, if you can read that. But they're these like, do you know what they look like? They look like like Liam Perrin's like yeah. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. That's what they kind of look like. Ooh, that's 11.5%. Yeah, they're all pretty heavy. They're all, they're from the United Kingdom. And they're all ageable and like you should age them. This one's brewed in 2012. So I think we had one from 05, 05. or something. Yeah, I that think was he's the oldest our oldest. One. So really excited to try those. And they're all, they're aged in different. That one's aged in a in a whiskey cask, and then the other ones are aged in different woods. This is the aged episode. <laughs> yeah. So we, um, I cried a little when we yeah, opened up really the nice. box because um, I I don't think I said thank you for a minute. I was just kind of like, this is like crazy. Like it, I don't know because it was nice to since they're not doing that anymore. I mean, not like they would ever. You know, the yeah. beer brunch and everything. Going the last two years has been really, really awesome. Yeah, and our friends Heather so, and James also go. Um, Robin and James. Robin and James. Good it happens. night. Heather and was fun. But I thought that was really cool, and that was alienator related. So I, yeah. you know, we'll have to bring those out at some point, and that'll be a good, a good callback to Christmas twenty twenty. Yeah. All right. That was my little segue. Are we ready to talk stitching? I think we're ready to talk stitching. We We've have been a lot of stitching. We've been talking beer for 12 minutes, so. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of things. I don't, I don't have a lot of things. You have a lot, a lot of things. I have a fully finished object, so I should go last. Okay, well, let's just go for it. Go. I have a finish. Ta-da! Winter bird. Winter bird. Oh, my chart. Oh, no. Is it in the second drawer there? I don't know. No, no, no. Gray drawer. That's a lot from Liz Matthews. Sorry. Is it Lila? Yes, it's Lila. Ha ha. Okay. So Lila Studios, Season's Blessings. This was a stitch along mm. that uh, I did with Spunky Gin or Stitching in the Bluegrass here on Floss Kentucky. Tube. She's from Louisville. She lives in Louisville. the Louisville metro area. Um, so I finished my winter bird. This red is Turkish Red by Weeks Dye Works, and I love it. Remind me to talk about my red later, because I really like that color that I'm stitching. Yeah, so I made a mistake. I obviously, so I started across here, and I obviously am one stitch short, because when I came across here, I was one stitch off, but I just compensated, and it's fine. I was one stitch off on the border of the fall bird, too, so I guess that's just how they're going to be. Not sure how I want to FFO them. They're both on 40 count. So they're going to be, I mean, they're the same size. Um, the example is on one of those little wood boards. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. If I do, I might have our neighbor. He um, has a lot of woodworking tools and he's like, oh, I could cut those for you. This is the, this is the wooden episode. We keep talking about it. It's coming up. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if I want to do that. I don't want to, I don't know if I want to frame them. I don't know if I, I don't know, but they're done. So that's my finish. And obviously if you're bothered by things not being ironed, just look away. So there's my winter bird. My lovely cardinal. Okay. Um, let's, I'm going to show you my whip first because I think I have something like 14 new starts. Y'all shouldn't be surprised though. That's not surprising. There was the the uh, the twelve and twelve. Yeah. The so, big twelve and twelve start. Yeah. So the start whip, fest. 
yeah the whip i had last week is this um all glory be to christ that is a gift are you from, marking them i am mm -hmm. i'm highlighting on this mm -hmm. um this was my christmas gift from kia and nathan um or kia and tech guy so kia charted that phrase up because it's significant to her and her sister and then I had commented that I thought it was gorgeous and I would love to stitch it. And so Blue bonnet. she kitted it for me for my Christmas gift. So the fabric I'm using is this is a fabric flare 40 count linen gray. There's my fabric. And this is, I have random strands of floss. Um, Victorian Motto Sampler Shop blue bonnet beautiful i love it and then i will show you my progress i've not stitched on stitched on this since new year's eve i think mm. yeah so there i am and this is kia's handwriting too which is really fun yeah so i got some good work in on that um on the day before new year's eve what was that new year's adam adam and then eve That's so weird. in my this is a 31 large zipper pouch gnome for the holidays it's real cute okay oh didn't put that one back all right so now for the new starts so first I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of do them in the order that I started them. This one I started on New Year's Adam. This chart is a freebie chart from Beth Twist, aka Heartstring Samplery. Um, it is called Make It Do, and she released this for Earth Day 2011. So if you want this, um, go to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about this one. Yeah. If you want this chart, um, I will make sure to put the link down below for it. Um, but you can just download it and stitch it. Um, so the phrase on it is use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I'm, I can't remember where that phrase originally came from. Like if it was... A, like a shaker or a Quaker. Um, I did not hear the history. Phrase. Maybe I'll look it up um, here in a second. But um, Kia, and I, Kia texted me like a screenshot of somebody who'd finished it on Instagram. And I was like, we need to stitch that going into the new year. Because Kia and I have both talked about like wanting to de like declutter a lot more in our houses. Our house, I mean, we've purged like multiple times, but I always feel like I can do more, like I can get more efficient. Um, and then also he and I are trying to really focus on savings this year. So like making it do or doing without um, was kind of important to me. Hmm. So this is where I'm at on it. This linen is a 36 count buttered popcorn by B, B Stitch Me. Um, Kia has had this in her stash for a while and had was just waiting to think of something that she could use it Stitch for. Stitch on yellow. Yeah, because I mean, it's, it's a very it's yellow. in your face color. And we were going through her linen boxes, mm -hmm. like trying to decide um, what we wanted to what fabric we wanted to use for this chart. And I saw this and I was like, um, this kind of fits perfectly the idea behind the piece. It's that she's had this linen for a while. And so we're gonna make this do, even though typically this doesn't fit either of our style. So we're doing this. And then I am stitching with, I keep going the wrong way on the zipper. I am stitching with sulky threads for the first time. So this is color number 1181. Hmm. So this was new to me. 
one strand of sulky is about one and a half. So as I understand it, it's about the same thickness as if you had like one and a half strands of DMC. So the coverage on this 36 count is really good. I'm really liking it. That's upside down. I like the way it feels when I'm stitching with it. The chart isn't monochromatic, but I'm choosing to do it monochromatic. And then the other thing I'm trying for the first time with this piece is, is it, these. You said this is 36. That's 36. Yeah. This, um, oh, the glare is really bad. These. I mean, I mean, makes it worse. Well, never mind. So these um, Easy Guide ball oh, tip the ball needles. Tips, yeah. Uh, Sullivan's, I'm using a size 28. I'm in love. These are so easy to thread with that sulky. Um, they just dropped it. I'm gonna have to buy more of these. I got these at Jen's Stitching Niche on Etsy, um, and she's currently sold out of size 28. Um, but I saw them on One Two Three Stitch. So the next time I order, place an order with One Two. One, two, three stitch. I'm just going to add more to my cart because I love them. They have just like a little ball tip at the end. So they glide across and they don't pull. Oh, um, and it's easy to count mm -hmm. across. So, and I think the length is about perfect for me. So I'm really enjoying stitching on those or stitching with those needles mm -hmm. on this project. Put it all, put it all together. Yep. Okay. So, whoop. All right, now for the big one. These were my 12 and 12. So on New Year's Eve at noon, Kia and I started um, doing one new project every hour. So we did a start at noon and then one and went all the way through. So our final start was at midnight to be done working on it by, or our final start was at 11 to be done working at midnight. And our goal was in that hour block, we were gonna put at least 50 stitches in on our, you know, because 50 stitches a new start doth make. So um, we, yeah, I, I definitely achieved my goal. Mm -hmm. And so this, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably you've seen, seen this. Yeah. So I started the Prairie Schooler, a Prairie Year. So this year, um, I had put out the question on Instagram weeks ago saying that I wanted to stitch like a monthly series because I wanted to be able to have a year round tree. And so I wanted to work on a couple, like if I did one monthly series every year and I just keep filling that tree up for a year round tree. And I had a couple like really good responses. Are you making fun of me? No, I just, I move. Oh, oh. Um, but I found. Are you doing that? Yes. Oh, well. I found this one and I really liked it. So uh, this is book number 13. Um, and I know there's at least one other series from prairie schooler because I don't own it but Kia does like a year in the round or something like that but what I did was I started with December at noon and I worked my way so that I ended on January mm -hmm. so at midnight I was putting in my last stitches um for the 50 in January so a lot of these these have a lot of these have not been touched since, yeah, I'll hand them to you after I show them okay. since New Year's Eve. But um, my goal is just um, to finish each one of these by the end of the month it represents. So this one, ah, this is August. Because August has a watermelon and that's a watermelon vine for the border. So there's August. This is my start on October. It's a pumpkin. Um, February. Oh, um, 
I will be sure to tell you what fabric this is, but I'm using the Carbone. Continue. It's color and cotton. So it's I thought dyed. it wasn't. I thought this is DMC. Oh, I'm talking about. I'm talking, I'm about, talking about the fabric. Yeah. Talk about the floss. The floss is DMC because I don't believe in converting Prairie Schooler. Prairie right. Schooler is DMC. It's so hard. this is March. This, oh gosh. Mm -hmm. um, it's a border. Yeah, it's um, April. It's going to have a bunny, but that's the bottom border. This one is September. It's going to have a schoolhouse. Mm. Oh, yeah, September, the school month. Oh, you know what? I was wrong earlier. Which one? Can you see it again? Doesn't matter. I can, I can, I can. This is August. This. Mm. What's, What's this one? one? Uh, Chris, that's December. <laughs> or, or November. No. That's November. November. That's November. November. Because those leaves in the corner. Yes, so that's There's leaves November. in the corner of December too, but... It would yeah, but that's not where I started on December. That's what I'm saying. This is different. August. This is the watermelon vine. Okay, um, this is July. It has a patriotic striped heart, um, so that's one of its stripes. Um, May has like a basket full of uh, flowers. This is oh man, guys! It's got a little red bears in the corner. I think this is June. Yeah. June. That's June. This is December. It's like a Santa. It's a Santa, yeah. I'm trying to, I don't. Uh, I think Just... it's oriented this way. Okay, and then this one has the most work because you work it's January again. and I picked it back up. So January is a clock approaching midnight. So you can tell that um, as the night went on, like I started getting more and more off center. So this is the outside um, border of this one. So I have finishing room. Um, and then the top border, I'm going to have at least an inch and over here, I'm going to have a ton of room. But as I got tired, I definitely didn't start in the same place every time. The fabric I'm working on is a, it's an Ada, um, hometown holidays, color and cotton. Yeah, All this is an floss. 18 count Ada. He got me the floss for my stocking. <clears throat> we had I thought get... you were going to sneeze. No, I, I started to, I needed to cough a little bit, but I didn't want to be crazy. Uh, yeah, so you'll be seeing these throughout is this the year. Here? Yeah, it fits. I have one more start that I started last night. So we're filming on Thursday, the 7th. Mm. Yesterday was Liz Matthews' one year business anniversary for Hello from Liz Matthews. So. Cheers, Liz. I posted that I cannot wait to meet her in person and that we are definitely going to pop a bottle of champagne when we meet. Um, we thought we were going to meet October. Over, was it October? That was the... That yeah, was the, I thought we thought we were going to meet Halloween the, weekend. Yeah, the Hocus the Pocus. Hocus Pocus weekend. Yeah. Um, and just because of COVID and in the name of safety and responsibility... She stayed in Maryland, which obviously was the right decision because then Indiana surged. Well, the whole country surged. So she made the safe choice not to um, cross a couple states. But I was disappointed, obviously. Um, and then we thought we might get to meet for Stitch Away, but Stitch Away was canceled. Okay, sorry. We had a kid pop in and, and then my hands messed up. need us. Um, so we thought we might be able to meet each other at Stitchaway, which should have, would be taking place next week, 
but Stitch Away was canceled. So Kia and I are staying home um, for that. And obviously so is Liz. So, but if you're on her newsletter, which you should be, you just need to um, go to, she has a new website or go to her Instagram and um, sign up for her free newsletter. That's how she gets her freebies out. Um, so she released a freebie yesterday and I downloaded it from my email as soon as I got it. It's like, um, it has two versions, but they both have the word hope. Mm. Um, I downloaded it immediately, not knowing what was going to happen. Like yeah, all the... a couple hours later at the nation's capital. And so I was like, I'm starting this because if there's anything everyone needs a lot more of right now is hope. Like we thought 2020 was bad. Well, six days into 2021 and here we are with unrest in the nation capital, nation's capital. So um, I was like, I'm stitching hope. Um, and I decided to use my the Stitch Me fabric. Like I have not cut this. Um, this color is Escape. It was the October 2020 monthly um, from Be Stitch Me. It's a 32 count Lugana. Um, and she stitched hers in pink, like a pinkish reddish color. And so I was like, I'm gonna go with pink on this blue. Um, because the variegation in this hand dyed, uh, it can't really see it, but it's pink. It's like cloudy, yeah. It's oh pink. yeah, yeah. I thought you were, yeah. Um, so I'm. I just pulled from our stash. This is DMC six oh three, and it's pink. It's pink, and this is my start. So it, it runs. Way? It's. I'm doing oh. the smaller one that oh. runs um, horizontally, and so. This is a flower and I have a little more left to go on the flower and then I'll start stitching the word hope. So, um, yeah. Um, I stitched that last night watching Schitt's Creek because Liz and I both love that show mm -hmm. and Kia does too. Um, and tried to just hold on to some sense of normalcy last night after all that craziness. So, that it? That's it. Your turn. Okay. Mine's pretty straightforward. Uh, Halloween Quaker. You know what? I felt better about this after I, because, you know, the moon. I was kind of stuck on this part. Not stuck. I just don't want to stitch it. So, but I've been working on it. I, fin I had finished the top part of the moon the last episode, and I've started the bottom part and started the witch broom. Mm, yes. So what's new here is the broom. Hold that corner. The the broom handle and some of this white. Beep. It's whatever. That's all. This will pick back up at some point. But I have two other projects that I'm working on. So that's that one. That's Lila Studios. This is. Uh, I feel like I feel like we're supposed to do this every time. Thirty two. Thirty two count. count. McKinney. McKinney. Um, beautiful colors. I love them. Those are the called for overheads? Yep. yep. Called for. It's a mixture of... Um, help me. Classic? Classic. It's No, it's all classic. Is it all classic? I think it's all classic colors. Okay. Uh, so a little project there. Or a little project. little progress. My Christmas start slash gift from... Kia and Nathan, little Quaker Christmas, Susan Ake. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me, please. Uh, but this was a freebie, on which uh, we linked on our previous video. I forgot to link it. We we will link it on this video. Uh, um, it's or Arafil's website. Yes, and I'm in love with it, and I like this red too. So, I I I don't know if this motif was done. This little poinsettia, poinsettia flower. Um, I think it was at least started, but I finished that up. And then I haven't added any bursts, but I added this like Quaker uh, star over here. These Quaker flakes. <laughs> and this color. Quaker flakes? This color is DMC 666. And it is, I like it. And it's 666, but you know, I'm sure that's why they, you know, it's a nice red color. 
I, oh, I had it. I don't know. But like, it's like, a, it's, you can't tell. The, the lighting doesn't do it very good justice here. But it's like a scarlet Where'd that red. packaging go? Um, we, the, I am working on, it's is Weiger Pre-Cut Belfast 32, 32 Count Opalescent. So it's like sparkly. And you can see that on the last one. You, it's sparkly. Kind of angle it. Love it. Reminds me of classic Christmas. Super fun. My only other whip is a new start whip. Uh, Did you start this on New Year's Day? I, you know what? I don't remember. It's been... I've, I've only worked on it three times. Two or three times. You know, I think you started it on New Year's Eve when you got home from work. I think so. And this is... Uh, well, my mother gifted me for my birthday. It's the one ring, or it's the To Rule Them All by... Circus Stitches. Circus Stitches. And I decided to do it in 310 on this tin roof. And I, the font looks so good. It's a 36 count? It's a 36 count. And I love how, like, old and crazy this looks. Like, kind of stretch it's it a little bit. I don't know. Can you go that way? Maybe. Them ring them. <laughs> now yeah that is the one frustrating thing but i guess it's fine I, you know it'll get better but i just started in the middle of the pattern and i had to tape two pieces together because it was kind of hard to see yeah and so the way i'm stitching is i'm just connecting letters and it literally goes like ring them or them ring them ring them the ring or something like that like it's yeah, all so for a while it's all them the and ring if I keep going like up and down, which is fine. But I, I love this color, 310. And I don't have, a I have a, I have just the, the printout. It doesn't have a sample or anything. Like, there's no cover sheet. I have terrible mask beard today. It's driving me crazy in the camera, I'm sorry. Mm, yeah, he has to wear his mask all day at work and- It's real bad. Yeah. It's got a, a goofy bump. Anyway. That's it. I don't have 12 starts. But you have an FFO. I have an FFO. It is also Lord of the Rings related. So we we had to go get we had to go get dog food. We had to go get Bowser food. And while we were there, we were near Joanne's and we had to get the rest of your floss for the prairie schooler because there was one color they were out of. Yep. And you wanted something else. We uh, got some sock yarn. Oh, yeah. Because I want to learn to knit socks. So, um... I'm going to try to. Shiloh, Cross Stitch MD, is consistently posting mm. these pictures of socks that she's knitting. And I have sock envy and I have FOMO. So and we're we not doing a, anything else. And we have a friend, Emily, that we've mentioned before. She knits. She's like, I can teach you how to knit a sock. So I got some um, sock yarn. Well, while we were in there, we were just talking about stuff to put, because we cleaned up the Christmas stuff. We were kind of thinking about how to decorate. Right now it just has some cocktail stuff. Just cocktails. But we thought we might put this up, but I don't know if we'll put it up somewhere. But we were just talking about like finishing stuff and I saw this square. It's it's like it's like that craft. Is it, what is it? It's not it, balsam. It's not balsam wood or anything. It's just, it's a craft. I guess I should have Googled it. But Joanne's and like Michael's, they all have this like easy to work with kind of wood stuff. Yeah. And I saw when it's the square shot, square size, I might do something different with this. But we bought a stain. I've never stained wood before. That was a new experience, but it turned out pretty good, I think, because I wanted it to look kind of like an older weathered wood. I don't want, I don't want to turn it around because I, I think it, looked, it turned out pretty good. But I ended up, oh yeah, take our sticker off there. I ended up putting uh, Lonely Mountain on it. Are you reading? It says Walnut Hollow. Yeah. I ended up putting Lonely Mountain on it. I like it. Mm-hmm. The red stands out and this is like a, it's a brown and it's, it's, but it's not exactly the same as the stain. So it looks like real. Yeah. It look good. So I have a fully finished object. 
That yeah. will. Yeah, like I said, I think I'll probably get rid of the string. Yeah, we'll probably get brackets. those alligator teeth brackets. I have some. I just. Oh yeah, yeah we'll probably I'll just switch right it to that so that we can put it wherever he wants. Yeah, without having it. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's fine hanging, but that's it. Very cool. Uh, haul. Haul. You have a little bit of haul. Just a tiny bit. So I had this last week when I filmed, um, and I forgot to show it. But my um, December Be Stitch Me subscription, um, I actually just reached out to Brandy um, and switched our subscription. We were alternating between neutrals colors and, and neutrals. We switched to all neutral, and we went from 32 count to 36 count because when I first joined the club, you liked like 28 count. And I liked 36, yeah, well, so we I went really, in between her. Well, now we're yeah. both loving 36 count. Yeah, I like 30. Yeah, this is 36 count. This is 36 count, 10 yeah. roof. I'm enjoying it because I yeah. like I like the one strand. Yeah, we both like stitching with one yeah. strand. At first, I didn't, but I don't know. Yeah, so I just had her switches to 36 count, um, but this from December um, is still a 32 count Lugana. This color is called winter blues it's a really pretty sorry light blue variegated like ice blue and then i also get her her hand dyed silks um the, the this is the anna and elsa series yeah it looks this like is, frozen called nautilus it's like a turquoise it's a it's a it's a, yeah um this one is called ice nebula i like that one yeah me too there's a crayon that crayola makes it's called outer space I think, and it reminds me of that, and I like that. It's like a, yeah. It's a spacey blue. I don't know. I really like it. This one is called Arctic. I like yeah, this it one too. Yeah, too. It looks better on camera. Yeah, yeah. the light hits it really mm -hmm. well. And then the last one, it's called Frozen. That's it. Yeah. So that's what I got from Be Stitch Me. Looking forward to my January delivery. And then the other thing, you set those over there, mm -hmm. that we got is the newest ep newest episode, the newest mm -hmm. um, Just Cross Stitch Mandalorian. Magazine. Yes, we did. Um, for February 2021, I really like this. Um, I could, I could do that. Yeah. So I have to admit, sometimes I feel like just cross stitch magazine has too much, um, like back stitching and mm -hmm. like specialty stitches and stuff like that. It's just not my style, but I really like this. I don't know if I'll stitch it. What? It's an 1815 reproduction sampler called on youth it says um fragrant the rose is but it fades in time the violet sweet the violet sweet but quickly past the prime white lilies hang their heads and soon decay and whiter snow in minutes melts away such and so withering are are our early joys which time or sickness speedily destroys wow i like it um Trying to remember. Oh, like I also that. Yeah. This one, my eternal love. And it's like I can't pronounce it. Moshiorgra. Yeah. I mess that up, I'm sure. But it's really pretty. So there is a little bit more in this issue. That's a stud muffin. Yeah, the Valentine's like oh, their coffee um, house. Yeah. 
So I had fun looking through this one. Oh, I liked this. That, oh, that's really cute. So, yeah. I don't think we got anything else. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't oh. show this. They're, um, the one where, what's it called? They release, like, a part of it every issue. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you stitch it through the year. Mm -hmm. It's a Christmas Quaker. I didn't know if you would want to stitch it. Potentially. So I can get that done real fast, though. That, well, yeah, because part, they yeah. just release. No, I get one, it. Yeah. But that, that wouldn't take very long. Yeah. So, anyway. I think that's all we got for you, friends. That's it. Yeah. Uh, we'll link stuff, the usual. Mm hmm Yeah. I got nothing. I, I got nothing. Let's just, let's just end this, I suppose. Yeah. Be good to one another. And have a great week. Cheers.